Good afternoon, guys. This is Robert from Trade the Moment. It is January 18th, Monday afternoon. I am making a video on a few stocks that have been in the news lately and that have been trading throughout every day with day traders getting involved in these stocks. And I think some should be very careful. Let's just look at a couple. Let's look at CCIV. This was rumored to be takeover. This is a stock that was trading at about 10 bucks and some kind of way hit $21 and it didn't take all that long it took one big week look at it to the right look at this weekly from 10 and a high of 21 so this stock is up a hundred percent on account of a takeover it may be taken over but if it don't get taken over this will backfill so it's got a high of 21 and it's at 1836 and this is all takeover talk so let's be careful with it you got huge volume and huge interest to want to get involved in this stock this is a hot space um it may go it may not go so be very careful with with, with ccirv let's look at a few other stocks that made news that was actually the wrong news okay look at signal signal it was a company that tesla elon musk from tesla had mentioned that he liked it and, and, and whatnot and it was the wrong signal this was not the company this company shot up after two days of being somewhere around under a dollar it opened up at seven and that particular day went to seventy dollars and 85 cents this stock went from seven and change to 71 and it was on the count of tesla making a recommendation that he liked the company signal. It wasn't this one, it turns out to be, it was another one. He corrected it, he made it clear what he, what he had meant and it wasn't this company. And for some strange reason here, after he had said that, I don't know why, but it went to 71 after he had said that this was not the company. So it ran up from a dollar to seven with him, with people thinking that Elon Musk was interested in this company and he liked it he thought they were a good company or something to that nature and then i guess everybody thought it was a great short right here because it was the wrong company this wasn't the company he had, he was talking about and for some strange reason everybody had that ridiculous idea which was really a good idea but turned out to be ridiculous because this stock got squeezed all the way to 71 dollars i'm sure a lot of people most of them got stopped out here got killed I'm sure they had their accounts blow up. But then it closes at 38.70. And this is way after he had made a statement that this wasn't the company. So it went from 70 to 71 on nothing more than a short squeeze. This was not the company, it was clear. And then it closed at 38.70 and then the next day traded down to ten dollar close and now it's at 1350 i don't know what this company is doing here at 1350 it probably belongs back to 70 cents where it was he made it clear it was not the company that he was talking about they asked uh, somebody inside the company and they, there was one person or something that said it was a very small company and nothing was going on and yet it squeezed all the way up here blowing people up why i don't know it went up other than a short squeeze that's just my thesis that this thing would they do they really squeeze good so this stock be careful with i wouldn't get involved in it i'm not saying short it but it won't surprise me at all if this comes back down to 70 cents where it started out because it was this height so be very careful and i want to touch base on a few other companies plug another one big big trading stock huge volume lately put a high in up here at 73.90 it's at 60 i think this thing topped out on the daily i'd be very careful it's showing signs that it topped out it's starting to fill this gap here down to 54 we'll see what it does it's got two big bars it's got a big top and tail you got two increase in two bars increasing in volume increasing in size so the body of the bars got bigger week after week two weeks the volume bars got bigger week after week. The stock is off a high of 75, down to 60. Careful, guys, careful. Let's take another look at BTBT. This is another stock that had a nice run up. The stock went from 6 to 33 almost, and the stock has been under pressure ever since. You see the volume, see the push up, push up, boom. Everybody had to get in. 
Well, once everybody was in, that was the end of the people wanting to buy it up and, and, and drive it higher. And it's just selling off now on lighter volume. So this thing is backfilling all the gaps. It's got a big top and tail on the weekly. And if you look at the weekly, you got this huge bar from $6 to $24. You got this huge volume bar. The following week, it goes as high as $33. $6 stock that goes to as high as 33 two huge bars. As you see this one, it reversed. And this was the end of it for a, sh for a short period of time. What it does later on, I don't know, but I do know it ended at 2503, red on the week, big top and tail, and there was gonna be more blood to come. And sure enough, the 2503 as it closed, the following week it closed at 1666, as you see to the right. So this thing got extended, got driven up, the volume was huge, the top and tail classic class A signal, closing red on the week, reversing sharply lower. That's BTBT. Let's look at DDD. The stock is run up very nicely. It exploded here, it's held, it's got volume, it pushed up. The volume's drying up now if you look at the volume, so be careful up here. You got lighter volume. You got a stock that put a high in, maybe call it Thursday of 32. I'm not sure it's done with, but it's getting a little dangerous now to chase the stock. So I'm not saying short it, I'm not gonna say long it. I, I, I'd stay away from this one. It still can pop another 10, $12. You see here when it moved in one week from 11 to as high of 31. The second week, it closed at approximately 23. And went as high as 32. So this is a volatile stock. It still may have some gas left in it. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't chase it, and I wouldn't show it. GameStop's another one. I don't know if this stock has been climactic yet. You got a huge volume push. It opened up, it went higher, it, it closed at 20, 22 the prior week, and then this this, this day it went to 38.45. Then it went high. It, this may be a top. It's too soon to tell. You have the volume on the weekly. You have the huge engulfing bar, but we don't have a clear signal. So this can still go higher, take out the high, and then reverse. If it does, look to see if it gives you a signal like this. See if it does what BTBT BT did, okay? I know it's Bitcoin related, but still, this is the signal you're looking for. The big engulfing green bar, the another green bar, and then the reversal turning red. And that's an entry for a short, if you would like to. I'm not sure if DDD is there yet. I am not sure if GameStop is there yet. But these are potentially excellent shorts. They just may need a little time, a day, a week, or two days, to make that next big surge. And then when you see it look like this right here, when it goes up, big topping tail on huge volume, and it closes red on the week. Well, not red on the week, but red from the opening of the week. This stock was red, but it was still higher than the prior week. But it was, for people who had gotten in on it, they got trapped. And this shows the, the fatigue. Now it's tired. So... That's what you want. You want you want to short something like this on a signal, and I don't think the DD is there yet because you have the bars, but it's not red. GameStop, you have the bar on the weekly, and you have the volume, but again, not red. Let's look at Neo NIO. Neo NIO got pretty extended here, reversed from a close here of approximately 54, all the way down to a low of 36, and it closed at approximately 43. This is a sharp pullback, guys. 54 to 28, that's a $16 pullback on a $54 stock. That's like 30%. And then it rallied over the next four or five weeks to do, again, a big, wide range red bar. Not all these red bars are going to be buying opportunities. This one was. I'm not sure this one is. Okay? This stock is really extended. If you look at it on a weekly, this is a $3.5 company, okay, that has run up in the last six and a half, seven and a half months from three and a half to 67. I believe this was put in Monday. Let's check it out. 
Friday, Monday, yes, Monday is correct. So Monday went as high as 66.99. Stock is at 56. Okay, 15. So this stock is down approximately almost ten dollars and change. Ten eighty. Four. So this stock is a, is almost eleven dollar pullback. I don't know if you're going to see the next five weeks are running higher. It may, it may not. But this red is a sign to be careful. Okay, because you got away with it here, don't mean you're going to get away with it here. So be careful with Neo. It, it, it looks like it could be a good short. Okay, guys, that's where you are. Be careful with these stocks that have these three dollar stocks, ten dollar stocks that run up two, three, four hundred percent. Be careful with them. They become climactic. They become, and they become probably prices that they may never see again. I don't know if this stock will ever see $70. Um, and, and the truth of the matter is this is a takeover. If, if for some reason it turns out to be a false rumor or it turns out to be a deal that doesn't go true, or maybe it was going to go, you know, it would, maybe it was a real deal. It just didn't happen. These stocks are going to get hit. So be careful with them. Well, guys, again, thank you. This is Robert from Trade the Moment. You can see many of trade ideas in our free trade trading room on the Discord app at Trade the Moment, or you can get swing trades too as well. Thank you.